We're breaking down everything going on with Selena Gomez. From the details behind her emotional breakdown to how Justin Bieber is reacting. We're talking all about it on Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. Happy weekend, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. I'm Madison Hill. Hey, everyone. I'm Kate Rocher. This whole Moments of the Week is going to be dedicated to Selena Gomez yes. and the news that shook us all this week about her being hospitalized due to an emotional breakdown. So we're going to go through everything step by step. Yep, let's do this, guys. Um, TMZ broke the news this week that Selena Gomez is seeking treatment at a psychiatric facility on the East Coast after suffering an emotional breakdown. Um, she was hospitalized twice mm. in the past two weeks, which is pretty crazy that that never got out. Yeah, that is nuts that they kept that a secret. Yeah, That's great. for um, low white blood cell count, which is something that happens with lupus. Yeah. Um, the second time she was hospitalized, doctors wanted her to stay longer. She freaked out. Sources told TMZ she was ripping out her IVs, uh. just kind of really lost it, it and that's hurts. when everything went down. It hurts my heart. Like, I just feel so bad for her. She's been through so much, mm -hmm. and she's finally on the up and up, but. Exactly. Well, okay, like, she'll, she'll get there again. With, you know, lupus is something that's a constant in her life. Yeah. Then she had to get the kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. Then she had, you know, relationship drama. And it's just been a constant. The girl keeps yep. constantly getting hit down. You can't blame her for finally being like, okay, I need to go take a second. No, absolutely not. I mean, it only makes sense why she's in this place. I would be too. Any yeah. normal person would be. She's absolutely. always under a microscope, always in the public eye. Anything she does is scrutinized, so that's hard. Yeah, we're going to dig a little deeper now into more of the reasons behind this breakdown. Obviously, like we said, she was having some health complications from lupus. Then sources later revealed to Us Magazine that Selena has been feeling pressure from those around her, which, which sucks. I can totally <laughs> oh, feel. Yeah. I mean, you know, she has been spending a lot of time with friends and family this summer. We thought she was kind of like living her yeah, best life. I was but, happy for her. No, I was too, but maybe those people were kind of putting their problems on her too, and she just felt a little too much. You guys, not okay. She's already going through so much. Like, help her, exactly. not the other way around. Yeah, exactly. And then another report came out and said that partying and drinking also played a role. This was from Radar Online. Um, that one kind of surprised me, but then when yeah. we actually thought about you know, what she's been doing mm -hmm. this summer and a couple reports from Life and Style in the past when, you know, they talked about Selena struggling, kind of steering clear of the party scene. I right. was like, okay, I can see it. It seems out of character for her, but it's not, mm -hmm. I guess when you, all things considered, it's not surprising. She exactly. did just go through a breakup. We all know when you go through a breakup, you go out with your girls. Yeah. So it adds up. And Selena's family reportedly told her she needs to stay sober to stay alive. I think the key here is that kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. I know um, in this report from Radar Online, Sources also said, excuse me, that doctors were kind of telling Selena, like, okay, girl, like, really, to be your healthiest self, we can't be doing yeah, that. Yeah, reel it back in, focus on your health. Yeah. And I mean, with lupus, it makes sense that, like, even just a little bit of partying would really affect her, unlike, right. like, a normal person who doesn't have those complications. So that yeah. layer added on makes it make more sense. I know, I feel bad. She was probably just being a normal 20-something, yeah. and it just kind of unfortunately Ugh. got out of control. That's so sad. Um, now let's talk about how Justin Bieber is reacting, because obviously when this news broke, we were looking at him to see what is he going to do, and yeah. he has been taking it super, super hard. Hours after the news broke, he was seen leaving church alone, looking very upset. He looked very upset. His head was down, yeah. his hoodie was up. He oh. wasn't with Haley, which was kind of weird. Yeah, I wonder how Haley's handling all this. It's gotta be like a weird position for her. I'm sure she cares about Selena, but also like, I wouldn't love seeing my ex yeah. all torn up about his ex. Girl is getting yeah. it hard. That's just confusing. Hard. Oh. I mean, we know that she had death threats coming at her on Instagram, which I was just like, Seriously. Like, why? I'm you a guys. Jelena shipper too, you guys, but we cannot be commenting things like killer no. on Haley Baldwin's That's Instagram. That's never okay, no matter who it is. We just Ever. can't be doing that. Um, after the whole church situation, the next day he was seen having a breakdown in his car. Haley was there. Haley uh. was trying to comfort it, comfort him. Um, those pictures were also kind of hard to look at, too. Yeah, it was very upsetting. I mean, they just got married. Like, this should be a time where they're, like, celebrating their love, and now they have all of these emotional things that they're yeah. gonna, going through. That's, that's Their marriage difficult. is definitely being tested. Yes. Um, a source also reported to Radar Online that Justin reached out to Selena's mom, Mandy Teefy, to check on Selena. Obviously, that didn't go well. <laughs> I mean, Mandy doesn't like Justin. She played a major role in their breakup. Um, she was not not feeling it. Which is totally fair. Yeah. I think it is sweet that Justin reached out though. Like it, right. He should like send flowers, I don't know, something, but yeah. he should not be able to see her, have no contact with her, right. none of that. And Selena's mom is basically coming from a place of like protection. She yeah. really feels that Justin did play a role he in did. this breakdown. It's undeniable. Exactly. He did. And even though he didn't 
like personally do something right. to Selena, right. that's the key. I think people freak out and they're like, why are you connecting these people? Right. It's just as a normal human, when you see your ex get married after like a month of dating someone, it really affects you. Any of us would be that upset. It's not like Justin was purposely trying to hurt her or anything like that, but no. uh, fallout, of course, is that Selena's gonna be really affected by it. It's just like a little ego blow and also kind of like officially closing the door on a chapter that you thought yeah. wasn't officially closed. Yeah, and for you know? so long they were back and forth and now suddenly that's just over. I mean, I'm sure Selena is just like in a whirlwind right now. Absolutely, and then at the end of the week, a source reported to Us Magazine, that Justin is still just struggling. He's been changing, he's become reclusive, he's wanting out of the spotlight, um, he's not feeling whole despite this new marriage. Um, I'm kind of not surprised by that because yeah. also we talked about this week how his friends were worried that he's going through um, this sort of identity crisis mm -hmm. and going back down a path of partying. So when you hear that and then you hear that he's becoming reclusive and changing, it's kind of not oh, a good sign. Oh man, Madison, so much going on. I don't There's like any so of this. <laughs> it's, I feel like this Selena thing happened and then it's just been a trickling effect of drama yeah. and more things are coming out which are, which are making past things make more sense. It's crazy. Um, clearly. Haley is definitely concerned. Um, at the end of the week, she was seen leaving Justin's pastor's house, Carl wow. Lentz. Um, so she was, Justin was not with her. I don't know if she was seeking advice on how to handle him, how to handle death threats, how to handle the whole situation. Probably all of the above. Marriage counseling already, everything. Yeah. She has just, I do feel bad for her in the I sense that too. she's been put through the ringer oh, yeah. with Justin's emotions. Like I said, the death threats earlier. She's kind of having to figure out how to handle this all without a book to tell her how to do so. Exactly. She's super young. She just got married. Girl doesn't know what's going on. And then you add on all these things. I mean, that's just, I, I don't think I could handle it. No. What do you think we're going to see from Justin in the next couple of weeks? I think he's going to continue trying to reach out to Selena, like okay. somehow see her. I really think that's what he's going to do to make himself feel better. I know. I think so too. I think he's maybe just kind of going through this because he feels a little bit of guilt, which like I feel bad for saying that and I do feel bad for yeah. him, but. And I'm sure he cares about Selena. Yeah. A lot. So. Oh, Oh, well, you yeah. can't turn that off. Exactly. All right, you guys, we have broken down everything going on with Selena Gomez. So please let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you think about the whole hospitalization, Justin Bieber's reaction, how Haley's handling it. Talk it out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. Bye, guys.